wonderful creative people. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a background from almost any image inside of Photoshop. And yes, I know, why am I not using GIMP or some other free software? Well, until there's a free software that can do what Photoshop does for a lot of things, I'll consider changing over. In fact, Photoshop, After Effects and Illustrator, I find very difficult to replace with something else that's free. But if you're a hobbyist, then, you know, then use other software or use the trial or whatever. Um, I do still use GIMP and Krita as well. Let me show you how easy it is to deep edge inside of Photoshop. First, let's go to unsplash.com, go through and find images that would work well. So for example, this parrot, I read that it'd be pretty easy to deep etch using this technique. I've already picked a bunch of images that I'm gonna show you. So let's dive into Photoshop. All right, so let's take a look at our first image. It's just some dude wearing glasses. It's quite a nice image to separate out the background because you can see a clear difference between the foreground and the background. It's a little bit blurry along the edges, but nothing too bad. So the first thing we're gonna do is just click on this little lock on our background layer just to unlock it. And then we're gonna hold down Alt, click and drag, and we'll duplicate the image. You can also just drag this image onto this little plus sign to duplicate the layer. So once you've done that, we'll go up to the top here where it says Selection. Scroll down to where it says Select and Mask. You'll be taken to a screen that looks something like this. So what you're gonna to wanna to do next is click on this little window here where it says View. Click on the drop down menu and we'll go with Overlay. You'll see everything will turn red and then we'll click this button over here at the top where it says Select Subject. Now this will automatically select whatever it determines to be the most prominent figure. It seems to really focus on people. It can identify people pretty well. So let's try it out. Boom, there you go. It's all masked out. We're kind of done. But what we can do is just zoom in. As you can see, we've got a little bit of white by the hair because it does struggle just a little bit with hair. So what we'll do is over on the side here, we'll select the second brush, which is the refine brush and We'll use the square bracket keys to increase and decrease the size of the brush. I like to make it kind of small and then just paint the parts where I want to get rid of some of the, the, the extra detail or add extra detail. For example, this hair coming off over here and wherever there's some white along the edges, you can extend these hairs out over here. Just go along the edge of the hair over here just to give it a little bit of detail. As you can see where it gets more blurry, it struggles just a little bit, but nothing too serious. We'll find our own way around it. And there we go. Now, all we're going to do is just press OK. And there we are. We're done. It's all masked out. As you can see, it's given us a mask. If for whatever reason it didn't give you a mask like this, just go back to your select and mask and make sure that in your outputs it says layer mask. So let's just turn off this top layer, select our bottom layer, let's just go over to the side here and select our polygonal tool. We'll just do a rough selection of the edges of our character. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it's probably better if it's not. Once we've got our character selected, we right click, go to fill, make sure that content or where fill is selected and click so now we've got two layers. We can increase and decrease our character's size on this background as much as we kind of like. And we can bring it into After Effects where we can slowly scale it up and add all kinds of parallaxing effects. So as you can see, this is a very useful effect and it's very quick, instant basically. It doesn't just work with people. It also works with objects. So let's go select and mask and then click on select subject boom it's kind of almost there with this top brush selected we'll just hold down we'll just hold down alt get rid of all of this and then we'll go to our refine brush and just increase the size here and we'll just paint over the parts where we can still see the blue and it should refine those edges kind of perfectly not a hundred percent but i mean it's not bad it's quicker than if we did it by hand and close enough. There we go. Boom. Tree's been separated from its background. 
Now, let's just say you wanted somebody to take a photo of your lunch, but you accidentally sneezed and bam, your sandwich exploded as soon as they took the picture. So now you need to fix it in Photoshop. Now that's pretty easy. We can use our select mask. Bam, it kind of almost did it. You know, we just paint in this little section here and we paint in this section over here. And then we deselect that stuff by holding down Alt. And I mean, it's kind of almost there, right? Kind of. But we're going to use something different. We're going to use a new tool that I discovered today, which is this tool, Object Selection Tool. So we can just go like this, select that top part of the sandwich, bam. Hold down Alt, drag it, and we'll just take that top part of the sandwich off. Like, it's not perfect, but it'll do. We'll also just unlock this layer, duplicate it a few times, and turn off all the different layers. We'll just select this top one. And with the selection box already doing its thing, let's just go and do this. Bam. Done. Next one. Select cheese. Done. Select lettuce. Done. And then we'll select the ham. And then this bottom piece of bread. Oops. Let's do it a little bit nicer, I suppose. There we go. Done. Get rid of this first half. Wait, let's just select like that. This. There we go. Now we've got all these different pieces of our sandwich. So we'll take this top piece, put it on top of the cheese, grab the cheese with the top piece, put it on top of our lettuce, and put it on top of our ham, and then put it on our bottom part of our sandwich, and put it back on the plate, because, I mean, we're not animals. And there we go. We managed to fix the sandwich. And also, because we don't want that transparent background, let's add in our background. There we go. Fixed. Sandwich works. Now we can eat. Now that I've shown you a whole bunch of cool deep etching techniques that you may or may not find useful, I mean, these things have saved me so much time in the past because I just used to use the polygonal tool to select everything and delete everything and mask everything out. Now I just use those things and then clean it up afterwards. It makes my life so much easier. So if you found this useful, please consider just liking the video, maybe even subscribing, and if you're really appreciative, just send me some Bitcoin or Ethereum, maybe even donate to my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and stay creative. From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization. Every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, every saint and sinner in the history of our species. 